Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my makeup and skincare empties. These are things that I have gone through completely and I tell you whether I will repurchase them or if I've already repurchased them or not. So let's get right into it. So these empties, I began collecting them a few months ago, I think. Maybe it was like six months ago. I haven't really done an empties video on my channel yet. And so this is from quite a long time. So you can really see what I've used the most this year and what my staple products are as well. So let me just grab the bag. So this, <laughs> these are all my empties. These, this is everything basically I used up. I might have missed some things here and there, but I'm gonna show you everything that is here. By the way, there's such loud music outside. I've waited for such a long time for it to stop, but it's still going on, it's still going strong. So I hope it's not too distracting. I hope you can't hear it as much as I can. If you can hear it, then we're just gonna have some background music today. So first up in this bag, I, I have a few bottles of Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I always use this to take off my makeup. I have a bigger bottle and I have two smaller bottles that I used up. So this stuff actually works very well for me because it does take off my makeup very well but it isn't irritating my skin. It doesn't burn my skin. I have very, very sensitive skin and I have tried a bunch of different micellar waters like this that actually didn't work, that gave me a rash, that gave me eczema on my face. So this actually works for me. I have heard people say that they feel like this leaves a little bit of a film on their skin. I don't really notice that, but I'm already very, very happy that I have a product like this that takes off my makeup without too much effort but won't feel very drying or very irritating on my skin. Before this, I was kind of struggling with taking off my makeup. I really don't like using a face wash. I feel like that's a lot of work. It's really messy. I don't like hanging over the sink and washing my face like that. I will sometimes wash my face with a face wash in the shower, but I don't really like doing that before bed. I know you should double cleanse, but I don't really like that. And I feel like this basically takes up everything i always uh, remove my makeup i keep removing and i keep using this until there's nothing that comes on the cotton pad so i really try to cleanse and take off my makeup everything in one with this product and it just works very well for me i really like it it is a very mild for the skin but it still takes off my makeup and i just don't like it when it takes so long to take off my makeup when I know that it's gonna take such a long, long time to take off my makeup at night, I don't really feel like doing my makeup because I don't really feel like going through that struggle. So I always buy this. I have a few bottles in my bathroom. I always have a bottle on my vanity. I always try to buy these on sale, then they are pretty affordable. This is just what I use every day. Next up, I have quite a few empty Clinique SPF 50 mineral SPF. I have three of these. I discovered this one, I think this year, at the start of this year. And there are a few things I really like about it. And that's why I repurchased it so much. But there are also a few things that I don't really love as much about this. I'm actually trying something else right now. But the thing I like about this is that it doesn't break me out. It doesn't give me a rash. It works for my sensitive skin. So that's a good thing. Also, it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. It goes into the skin very fast. So that's also very nice. And you can really easily spread it on your face. You don't need that much of this because it's very liquidy. But still very thick it's a very interesting formula the thing that i don't love about this one as much is that it gives you a bit of a white cast on the skin and i can kind of deal with that in winter when i'm a little bit more fair but especially in the summer when i use this the most i really could see that it made me very pale and and i just don't want to go through the struggle of trying to fix that with bronzer and, or another product i even bought bronzing drops to mix with this to kind of fix that but i think that's a lot of work for such an expensive SPF because this costs like 
30 euro or something like that. I always buy it on sale, but it is very expensive. I can use it for quite a few months. So looking at the time I can actually use it. It's not that bad. It's not that pricey, but I just felt like I wanted something else that wasn't that much trouble to use. So I actually bought another SPF. I now I'm trying, I believe the Perito SPF 50. That one isn't mineral, but it is see-through, so there is no white gas there. And I quite like it, especially for the winter, because it's a little bit more hydrating. It's a little bit more thick and a little bit more glowy. So I'm still kind of trying another one. And if that one ends up to be good, then I probably won't go back to this one. Even though I quite like it, it's just i just really really don't love the white cast that this has it doesn't have as bad as a of a white cast as some other mineral spfs i can kind of work with it but i'd rather not have that problem then i have about six bottles of the niacinamide by the ordinary so i discovered this product pretty soon after starting my youtube channel but i haven't really talked about it that much i believe i talked about it in a few videos but this really fixed my skin my skin was very uneven there was a lot of redness i was struggling with dryness but also with breakouts before i used this and i feel like this really balances out all the hydration in my skin so it isn't as dry when i use this i don't break out as much when i use this and it all looks a lot less red i really was struggling so much with redness and texture and right now it that doesn't really happen anymore at this moment my skin is very dry because it's so cold in the netherlands and the heater is on and the hair is just so dry but this really made such a big difference for my skin since i started using it my skin has gotten so so much better and that's why i bought this like every month because i go through one bottle a month but this is the skincare product that where i'm like that is so worth it for me that really made the biggest difference i've also tried some different serums some other serums as well but this one it really made such a noticeable difference and i think this is a great product right now i stopped using this particular niacinamide because i am trying out the niacinamide by the inky list because it is said that that one is better for normal to dry skin and i don't have oily skin this one apparently is better for oily skin so i'm trying out that one because it apparently is more catered toward my skin type so i kind of moved away from this particular product but i'm still really really into niacinamide and i think it works very very well so i would highly recommend this but if you don't really have oily skin but you just want to balance the hydration and you want your skin to look more smooth then i might go for the one from the inky list but i'm still kind of trying and testing that one out but this particular product this has been such a favorite i think especially in the summer this is this works well for me this works great for me but for the winter i just wanted to switch it up a little bit then i used up a lip balm i don't know what countries have this brand but this is knipe i guess you say it like knipe this might be german a german brand i'm not sure actually but this is a lip balm i believe this was like vanilla scent it's a lip balm with like natural ingredients something like that i really like it i think it's hydrating it feels a little bit thick on the lips it creates a little bit of a thick layer on the lips and it's not my absolute favorite but it is very good i like it and i always buy it on sale and then it's also pretty affordable i and I lost the cap. I go through a few of these a year. I just really like them, especially for the price that I can get them for. I like the scent. It is quite nice. There are not a lot of lip products, lip balms that I really love. There usually is always something about the texture that I don't really like. I don't really like it when lip balms are too thick. Thin. I really want to feel I kind of want to feel that thick layer so I guess I kind of also liked it about this one this is a good one ah look this is the nice cinemite that I'm using right now this is the inky list one of course it is a little bit more difficult to say if this is as good as the nice cinemite by the ordinary because my skin was already so much better when I started using this so I can't really tell you if it's 
the exact same quality if it does the exact same thing but this one does feel more comfortable on my skin this one i don't really feel on my skin it feels very comfortable but then the nice cinnamite by the right now i'm mixing up all the brands in my head so this one feels more comfortable on the skin than the one by the ordinary it feels really like a layer on the skin you can really feel it on the skin it's not exactly sticky but it is kind of like a film over your skin you can really feel it and this one just feels a little bit less like that this actually feels very nice on the skin i really like it so far i've used up a whole bottle i repurchased one so i think i'm probably gonna keep using this one throughout the winter then something that i always use for my skin this is only available in the netherlands so i'm really sorry about that but this just really works for me this is the hema i don't know if you've ever heard of hema but it's like the most dutch shop that has ever existed if there is a dutch shop then it's hema they have all the dutch things they are so typical they're in every city they are everywhere i always get their sensitive day cream spf 15 this is just very basic but it doesn't irritate my skin it feels very hydrating i just really like it because it is so basic that it can't really that it can't really mess with my skin and then i add in the serum that i want to really have an ingredient that is active and it can really help change my skin so i really like this i have two empty ones of this it takes me about three months i think to go through one of these and this is like six euros so eight dollars something like that if you're in the netherlands i really really like these hema creams i have tried so many creams in my life and a lot of them irritate my skin one way or the other they break me out they give me a rash they give me eczema and this doesn't do any of that and it just hydrates my skin i really like it i think this is a great line i also always use the night cream from this line the sensitive one i have one empty bottle of this one this one has pretty similar ingredients but it doesn't have the spf and it's a little bit thicker so i do like using this one for the night if i use this one at night it just feels a little bit too thin and i'm kind of missing the hydration it's good for during the day for protecting your skin but if you really want to hydrate your skin at night then i really like this one so i always go through those because i don't really try any other day and night creams this just really works for me and i'm sticking to it i try not to take too many risks with my skin except with my spf because i'm always on a hunt for the best one and usually they don't work for me but from the moment i found these creams i've really stuck with them because they just really work for me and they are also so affordable i'm not a person i'm not the type of person that really likes to spend a lot of money on skincare unless i feel like i have to if i find something expensive that works i always try to find something a little bit more affordable because you have to keep repurchasing them and especially if you have to buy an expensive cream or serum every month I don't really feel like doing that so another product that i declared finished but there's still a little bit left is the powerful five glossy lip oil by catrice i had this in my project pan i had every intention to use this up but this one it changed scent and color and taste and all those things it really changed after i had used it so many times i could really really tell that it wasn't the same anymore and i didn't really feel like using it up completely because it just wasn't that nice to use anymore this is a very nice product though it's very hydrating it feels very nice and plush on the lips and it has a very slight pinkish color to it but you can't really tell that you're wearing it on the lips so it's also something that you can really easily use when you have a no makeup makeup day or you're just wearing no makeup and you just want to hydrate your lips so i actually really like this but it's not a product with a very long shelf life if you use it a lot it's gonna change color and scent so keep that in mind but it's only like four euros so i didn't really mind that but i wasn't gonna force myself to use this up completely for that reason oh i have another one of the night cream so the night and a day cream i use them about the same amount so i usually use up a night and a day cream about this around the same time it is so hard to think with this music in the background i'm trying to talk but it's not really 
but it's so distracting. I really hope you can't hear it. But if I seem all over the place, this music in my ears is like messing with me. It's messing with me. Okay, next product. I always use the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black brown. I don't like wearing a black mascara. I don't think it looks good on me and I have very sensitive eyes once again. Just very sensitive skin, eyes, everything. And I have tried some brown mascaras that just burn my eyes. So my options are so, so limited. I'm also always scared to try a new mascara because I'm scared that it's gonna burn my eyes. So I usually don't really try anything else. I know it's not really what a beauty YouTuber should behave like, what you should be like. You should be trying all the different mascaras, but that's not something that really works for me because there's really just such a small, small group of products that I can and want to use. So I kind of stick with the same thing. I really love this mascara. It gives enough volume, it gives length, it doesn't dry out too fast. If I have it open for like a week or so, it's at this perfect consistency for a few months. I just really love it. And it's also pretty easy to remove, but it's not a mascara that really smudges on me, that goes everywhere. And if it rains a little bit, it's not like it's running down my face. It's not waterproof. They have waterproof versions, but that's not really that something that I feel like I need but I actually like everything about this mascara the only thing is that it's a little bit expensive but I only buy this every four or five months something like that I use it up and then I buy a new one it's a good one the only thing that could make this better would be if it were a little bit more affordable but it's not that expensive and I can use it for long enough and it's worth it that my eyes aren't burning and it's a good mascara. I've tried some mascaras that didn't irritate my eyes and they were brown but they were terrible. This is a good one. Then I have a deodorant that I used up. This is the natural deodorant by Salt of the Earth with cedar and bergamot and this has 100% natural ingredients. This is an okay deodorant. It did irritate my armpits, it did irritate my skin and it did burn. If I came out of the shower, I just shaved my armpits, then this really burns. So I didn't really love it and it also didn't work the best. So it was okay. I did use it up, but I'm not gonna repurchase this. It's just if a product is gonna irritate my skin, then at least it should work. So yeah, this is not a great product. Maybe if you have less sensitive skin that you might like it. It protects better than some other natural deodorants that I used, but it's not nothing amazing. It's just okay. And if something really burns my skin, then I'd rather move on to something else because then after a month or so, I'm gonna get rashes and eczema and things like that. And we don't want that. Then something that I used up after quite some time. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler Soft Brown. I always use this. At least I always used it before I use it up. This is a great brow mascara because it really has so much fibers, so many fibers in there that it gives your brows so much of volume. And when I used this, I never really felt like I needed other brow products because this had the hold, the color, and it really filled in my brows. I really, really liked it, but there's basically nothing left. So now nothing really happens. This is a great all-in-one product but I don't really know what is going on with this if it's discontinued if I can still get it because I can get it online but I can't see it in the stores I even went to Germany to the drugstore there I found something similar but different so this is kind of like a vague product I don't know what's going on with this I don't know if you can get it anymore I do really like it but Sometimes with these kinds of products, if you buy it online, then you're actually buying a product that ha that was produced like four or five years ago. So I felt like this was a little bit of a shady product almost. So I bought something else. I bought another brow product that I'm still testing out. I decided to actually buy a brow pencil because when I had this, I didn't feel like I needed a brow pencil. I never really used that. But now I was like, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing if I tried it sometime and actually get the hang of 
a brow pencil and I feel like I'm kind of learning. I did my brows with a brow pencil today and I actually really like it. I have a brow gel that I bought in a store that's very similar to this that does have a great hold but it doesn't have as many fibers and it has a little bit of a lighter color so only that in the brows isn't enough for me especially not for on camera. So I'm trying this new brow combo and I'm actually kind of liking it and I also don't want to depend on a product like this where I don't really know where I can get it if it is discontinued or not so I really liked it but I still felt like I kind of wanted to move away from this also for my channel also so I can recommend things to you and maybe it's a good thing to just try some different brow products because I do really like how it looks when brows are done and are done well so this is definitely a favorite and I've used it a lot a lot a lot a lot this is my favorite brow gel that I have tried but it is time to let go and I'm probably not gonna repurchase this unless I get sick of the brow pencil and I'm like okay I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna buy another one then I used up an eyeshadow primer so you hear me talk about my oily eyelids a lot and I always tell you that I want to try and find a new eyeshadow primer because I have an eyeshadow primer that is only sold in the Netherlands but it is so hard to find something that works for my oily eyelids and so this is the eyeshadow primer that I always use it's by Atos and this is like a see-through eye primer it doesn't have color it's see-through on the lid I don't really mind that because I don't really have veins on my lid that I want to disguise but I do know that there are people that want that then this is not a good one but if you have really oily eyelids then this is a good one because it isn't thick or creamy because it doesn't have any pigment and it is very sticky and dry it becomes so dry that I think people with normal eyelids won't really like it but if you have oily eyelids and you're like I've tried everything then this is a good one so I really like it I've repurchased this I have one tube of this that is basically done and then I have another backup tube because there's just nothing else for me right now I've tried some different things but this really really works if you know something that is kind of similar but isn't crazy expensive I would like to try it but right now I'm kind of sticking to this one because I just need something that makes my eyeshadow stay on and there are not a lot of options if you're in the Netherlands and you have extremely oily eyelids I would recommend it. It is not perfect because it is so dry. It can sometimes look a little bit dry and a little bit flaky almost. But I have learned to work with it. I have learned to accept it because I just don't have that many options. It is sad but true. So now you know what I'm always talking about. It is this one. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Then lastly, I think this is the last thing. Something I'm pretty proud of is I used up a whole Laneige lip sleeping mask. I had this in my project pen. I used it up completely. If you want to see my journey of using this up, just check out my project pen playlist. This is a lifesaver. This is a lips saver because my lips used to be so, so dry in the winter. But since I've discovered this, I don't really have problems with that. After I used it up and couldn't really use it anymore, my lips became dry again. So I repurchased it right away, like so quickly. I just need this in my life. I just don't know how to survive without this. I know that people say that there are things that are better than this, that they have found things to replace it with. They never work for me. This is the only thing that works. This is a product that you have to use consistently though. If you have really dry lips, you have to keep using it. So that's what I try to do. And then I don't really have any problems with such a dry flaky lips in winter. It's just great. I like the consistency. I always use it at night, but I also try and use it during the day. It is a more expensive product, but it took me years to get through this. It took me such a long time to actually use this up. So keep that in mind. A lip balm like this, I can use this up in like a month if I feel like it. This one, years. Years of consistent use. So this one is, in comparison, if you look at it like that, probably still more affordable. So that is going to be everything for my makeup and beauty empties. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you enjoy this type of content. Do you want to see more videos like this? I always love to hear from you and then I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!